hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on a data analysis with the help of python so in this tutorial we are going to see about how you can concat or how you can merge uh, two different uh, data frame with the help of different function inside the python pandas library so uh, first we'll see about how you can concat the two uh, different data frame then we'll go for how you can merge two data frame based on any common column associated between two different data frames so we'll see about how uh, inner join outer join left join and a right join the way it works inside the sql how the same will behave inside the data frame python pandas library okay so uh, for starting i have already created the two data frame and each of these two data frame has a three columns like a member id first name last name and the second also is having a same uh, so let's just uh, print both of the data frame okay so it has a member id associated with one two five and each is having a first name last name so for uh, simplicity i have kept all names starting with the a in case of first name also in case of last name also in data frame one let's just print the second one also and let's figure out what are the common things associated with it. so here also having a member id starting from four to eight so four and fifth are the common member id between both of the data frame and a first name and last name all names are starting from b so it will be easy to visualize that how this uh, concatenation task and merging task is occurring so we have a two brand new uh, data frame and each of this having a three three column member id first name and last name now let's see how you can concrete this two different data frame now uh, first we'll see about how along the row you can uh, append or you can concrete the two different data frame so in both the cases the columns are same so appending row after row that means right now we have a total five rows in a df1 and a five rows in a df2 so once the row level operation for the concatenation will happen these five rows will be appended at the end of the first data, data frame but the same operation if you if you want to perform at a column level then what will happen that this all file row will reside along the side of uh, df1 so no another file records will be added in a first file record only it will add three more column now let's see and uh, visualize that how that table will look like so let's do the concatenation task so we'll use the concat function and we'll supply both the data frame now suppose we want to do this at the row level so we do not need to supply any other argument like a axis axis is equal to zero by default axis is zero in case of row level operation okay so what it has done actually we have total five five records in both the cases both the data frame so in a row level operation it has appended this five records after the data frame one objects five record so that is a row level operation but let's try to perform this at a column level so let's see pd dot now in suppose we want to perform this operation at a column level we need to supply axis is equal to 1 so it will perform at a column level so it has not created a 5 more record in a output data frame but it has generated 3 more extra column and it has put the D DS df2 the data frame 2 records along the side the data frame 1 record so in this way we have got almost 6 columns okay so this is how the row level concatenation and a column level concatenation one can do 
now let's see about how the same data frame you can use for the merging task so before we start let me just print this df1 so it will be easy to handle for the future operation i'll just print it df1 df2 again so we do not need to go back up every time okay now let's see how this inner join will work on a case of or how this merging functionality will work based on the operation of or based on the parameter inner join now how this inner join will work inner join will just recite based on which column you want to perform this inner join so let's say there is a member id basis we want to perform the inner join so based on the member id what are the rows or what are the records or instances are the common it will just return it and that will be performed with the help of merge function so let's see how this inner function will work so pd dot in this case we'll use the merge functionality because you are merging two different data frame in earlier case you are just concatenating one after another or one along with another in case of ro row level or column level respectively so let's just uh, supply df1 df2 now uh, it we need to supply that on which call be on the basis of which column you need to perform this merging task so let's just give member member id so member id will be a common task and how someone wants to perform this so we'll supply inner okay let's just display the results okay we have some errors okay we need to we just we do not need to supply as a array you can just supply as many possible as data frame based on which mm, column you want to perform this merging task so how this inner join uh, will take a inner join will just return us all records which are just common based on the member id so in based on the member id the this record the member id is having a four member id is having a five which is common common in both of the data frame df1 and a df2 so it has written us only those records only so that is how this inner join will work just overlapping result based on the column which you provide now let's see how this outer will work outer join now outer join is uh, you can treat it like a union of all the records whereas in a case of inner join we have treated it like a intersection of all record based on the member id so based on the member id we have found only two record which is the common in both df1 and in df2 but in case of outer join it's a union of all records so based on member id there are possible eight ids are there so based on these eight ids it should return the output and four and fifth are the common even then it should return a each and every so wherever there is no records are available it will just put the not a number so let's see how it will okay again i have done i have just copy pasted so okay so how outer join has written us all eight results so first five uh, five result for the data frame one is a uh, very common so it all starting with the a but the this member id is having a four and fifth value it has given us the another two record which is from data frame two also but in case of member id one two and three we don't have any value in a case of data frame two so it has pasted this not a number not a number not a number almost six times in case of first name now all the columns uh name it has appended x and uh, y value you can even change with the help of different parameter as a 
passing of argument also to the merge functionality so this is how the uh, outer join will work it is nothing but the union of all the record all possible record in case of this member id 4 and 5 it has written us all the records because in both of the data frame 1 and data frame 2 this member id 4 and 5th both will exist but in case of member id 6 7 and 8 only data frame 2 values only exist but in data frame 1 there is no value exists so it has written as not a number now let's see how this left join will work so we will uh, do about the left join left join what left join will do whatever the first argument we will supply I mean in data frame argument so which is nothing but the df1 it will return all the results of this in df1 and it will return only those result in df2 which is matching with the df1 so it is uh, something like uh, you extract all or you retry all result from the left data frame and then only those record from the second data frame which is matching to the df1 based on the common column which we are supplying which is nothing but the member id so let's see how it will return the result okay so uh, in a left join it has written all results which is having a member id 1 to 5 which is available inside the data frame 1 object but from the data frame 2 it has written only two results which is nothing but member id 4 and 5 which is the common in case of member id first second and third it is just giving a zero or none because that data itself doesn't exist so that is how the left join will work now let's see how the right join will perform in the same case so what right join will do whatever the second data frame object we have supplied it will retrieve all results from that second data frame and it will apply the right join on a top of this data frame one object so based on the member id on it will return us all well all records from the data frame 2 and it will return all plus it will return only those record from the data frame 1 object which is common to the data frame 2 based on the member id okay so in case of data frame 2 we have a member id 4 5 6 7 8 so all return result it has written and in case of uh, data frame to all values starting from B so it, that also it has written Benjamin Black Boris Brandon Brian Becker Ball Bell or Barry Black that is the first name and last name associated with data frame 2 but in case of data frame 1 data it has written only fifth and fourth of uh, only those two record which is having a member ID 4 and 5 which is the common so in case of write it will just retry all result from the right data frame first and plus matches with the first data frame or a left data frame which is common based on the id or a column name we supplied so this is how the outer inner join and even a left join and right join work the same concept which we have learned inside the SQL programming the same concept is applied in case of data frame also so in this tutorial we have seen about how you can concrete the two different frames along the row axis and along the y axis or a column axis and uh, we have seen how you can merge data based on the your inner join or outer join left join or a right join okay so I hope you enjoy listening this video uh, thank you guys for the watching Please do like, comment and subscribe it.